and the light's on. That means it's working. Yes, the Cook Report is recording for 2016, March the 7th episode. Thank you for those people that are watching in chat. Thank you for the people that are listening on Podbean, on Stitcher, on iTunes. The people that are watching it live on YouTube, I'd invite you to subscribe. Thank you to my co-host. I think he's over there this time. Maybe, maybe not, but I'll, I'll guess over there, okay? And Kelvin, good morning to you. Good morning. And it was an interesting blab we had this morning. And I don't know if you know it, folks, but Kelvin's quite the car guy, okay? This fellow was showing pictures of a car museum in England, these old, old cars. And it was far enough away you couldn't read, like, the, the name on the hood of the car or anything. But Kelvin looked at it one second and go, oh, that's an A35, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I think that's an MG10 or an MG, this ancient old car. And he's quite the car guy, okay? So without saying, we, we talked about before the show, we're not going to say the show notes and all that stuff are on the cookreport.podbean.com. So you won't hear me say anything about the cookreport.podbean.com today because we're not going to make that a part of the conversation. Today, because it's Monday, we're going to talk about blog rolls. Okay, the blog roll is the part of your blog where you list other blogs that you subscribe or or listen to, read content of, and so these are three pearls in that plethora of links that I've employed myself. And today I just started today. Um, a lady from Philadelphia, Eileen Smith, has got a blog called Basic Blogging Tips. That website is full of how do you do it? Helping you build a better blog is what the mission is. And with all of the guest authors that are contributing into that content, um, the answers to that questions that you may have are all there. The next one is about landing page and conversion optimization blog. This is one you wanna get in the show notes and they'll be listed on my blog, guyarcookonlineservices.com, WAC blog. And it's, that'll be in Podbean in the show notes. Just click on the link. And this blog is at unbounce.com. And the mission there is expert advice to help you crush your next online marketing campaign. Wouldn't that be fun? And Sign up to get the latest on conversion tips delivered straight to your inbox. And I mean, who doesn't do email? If you're online, you've got an email address and I urge you to get one that's an alias address, sign up for all these newsletters and stuff. And then you never have to get worries about being spammed and so forth. And then the pearl in the oyster, I guess today comes from Microsoft. Yes, folks, they have a set of blogs that's address, it'll be in the show notes, blogs.windows.com. And what part of that blog talks about new devices, right? Because they make hardware and have it made and sell it. One of theirs is called Holoscope. The blog post they have today about Holoscope was one that they did um, several weeks ago. It talks about the new Holoscope 3D visor things, kind of like that cardboard thing that's going about. And it's been sent up to the space station. The International Space Station has it now. And they've also built an interface so that you can do a 3D walk around on the surface of Mars. Well, who doesn't want to go to Mars these days? That's kind of a buzzword, right? So that's a really good one to take a look at. I think you'll find that quite interesting. At least I did. The thing I found just as interesting is, you know how at the bottom, bottom of a blog post, and excuse me if I'm doing the YouTube thing and the people that are in audio are going, what's he waving his hand? I can't see it. Well, I am. At the bottom of the blog post, it says, share it on Facebook, tweet it on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, usual suspects. Then it goes on to say, share it on Reddit. Surprise. Reddit's not one of the flavors of the week, I don't think. And at least on my desktop. And then it has a link to share it on Skype. So one of your friends, one of your colleagues, one of your coworkers, you know their Skype address, you can say, hey, go take a look at this telescope thing. 
and you can share the link via Skype. That was a new thing I was pretty impressed with. So that brings us to shout out times. Thank you to Edinburgh Dusters. Fraser Edinburgh Dusters, the company that likes to clean, did our graphics. Blab, this interface that we use for recording, doesn't allow those graphics to work. So we're going to research that a bit and figure out how we're going to get those reincorporated. And perhaps we'll only be able to use them on the YouTube channel. But that's Edinburgh Dusters. Big thanks. Thank you to Passing Places, their insider club at passingplaces.scott. Kevin Scullion does that blog. And it's a little bit old, but it's good, good, good information about places to go and see and travel in Scotland. Like, if you were going to leave Cambridge and go to Scotland, you'd ask Kevin, right? All the time. Number yeah, one guy. He, he's the guy. He's number one. Exactly. So the big shout out to Blab. Thanks very much for making this information available to us. We can record this Blab right now, Kelvin and I. And... It comes back to us in an email right after we close the blab. They send us an email that's got the MP3 for the audio that we can put onto all the audio locations, and I'll show those in a minute, and the video file that we can put on the video. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe. We try to do a good job. Some days we do. So you'll be a subscriber and get to partake in that. So on the subject of listening to the podcast, thanks to Stitcher Radio, because it's on that profile. Thanks to Blab I am, because the profile for Guy or Cook has got that in there as well. The um, cookreport.podme.com, that link I wasn't going to talk about. Well, I, there it goes. And thanks to Podbean. They're doing a great job for me. Because I'm on Podbean, I'm automatically going into iTunes. So you could search on iTunes for the Cook Report Bazinga. It's in there. And the next one, I'll ask my place. Oh, yeah, on YouTube, that's a video, so we can go past the things in, in audio that don't make sense. Go look at the pictures and video. They don't make sense either. And <laughs> the last but not least, the online services blog, it's the Guy R. Cook online services blog, will have the show notes in there as a blog post so that you can look at the images that we talked about and mentioned in there. The end of the show, we always do a shameless plug for the report evaluation question. It's just a single question that we ask at the bottom of the show notes and I invite you to do that yes, no answer there. Yes, I could tell you what the question is, but then you wouldn't have any reason to go look. So go look and see. And thanks to Kelvin, I got the name right, for being on the show today. Thanks and for inviting me. Those insights, those times when you say, oh, the signal he gives me that my audio is not working, things like that. Just relatively important things if you're doing a show that's recorded. And as I do at the end of every show, i got to say those three magic words that make it be an end. It's a wrap. <laughs>